Uh, yep, I had a, a brilliant time. It, the, uh, I did the 42 kilometer race and it was a beautiful point to point course with um, kind of four climbs and some really nice uh, uh, running, uh, some technical running, some nice uh, grassy slopes and uh, it was a really good course for me. Uh, the 42k just fitted quite well into my season at the minute. I've been doing uh, up to marathon length and uh, now I'll start doing some longer races but at, at this moment um, I feel quite fit for that kind of four hour, four to five hour. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll now start doing some longer races, um, some uh, of the Sky Extreme series. Uh, Tromsø and Kima and they'll, they'll take a little longer and uh, be more scrambling. Oh, last year I started with long, two long races and got shorter. So it's, uh, for me, uh, I like to do new races and um, then the races that have a good championship, uh, uh, a good level of competition. And I also return to some favorite races and I kind of look at the start of the year and then uh, plan my, um, try, try and get fit for for the most important races. Oh, okay. For me, it, as long as it's uh, a mountain race, um, I don't mind if it's a sky race, an, an ultra, a fell race, 30 minutes, or WMRA or sky running, it's all, all great running. Yeah, I try and peak for s certain races like um, the World Champs in Slovenia a few weeks ago, uh, this race and uh, a World Champs at the end of October as well for the ultra trail. So uh, a few peaks and then lots of fun in between. Yeah, it was pretty good. I felt re really fit um, on uh, climbing quite well. And uh, because the descents were quite technical and quite like in the UK, uh, grassy and steep, uh, I, I just pulled away a little bit and uh, I didn't mean to. And then I found the last climb really hard and lost a lot of time, but I was still really happy to have a kind of consistent race and and I, I was delighted to, to get a second place in the end. The, uh, break from work until September. A little, uh, I work as an ecologist and uh, I'm a contractor. So uh, I've worked really hard over winter and lots of hours and I've negotiated some time off work. I just do a little bit while I'm away. And um, so it's, it's really nice. Now I'm in my third week and I've, I'm starting not to think about work at all. Yeah, I work as an, an ecologist for the Scottish Water Board. So I do a lot of surveys for habitats and protected species. And uh, so I'm out of the office quite a lot. And then I do the reports for yeah, the new infrastructure. And it's, it's, it's a really nice job. I, I really think the, the hills are to be used. And, uh, you know, we can't preserve things. We, we can just sensitively use them. and. Um, you know, leave little trace and uh, you, yeah, I think it's very healthy to, to be in the outdoors um, as long as you respect it and uh, uh, yeah, it's, you know, runners are normally very considerate people and very environmental, it's, it shouldn't be an issue. I think it really depends on the env environment and how many runners you have and uh, I think this race was brilliant, uh, just little things like you know, at the aid stations, they don't give you cups. You take your own cup, um, you know, making sure there's no litter on the trails and uh, avoiding the sensitive areas of the national park. We can still get a fantastic race and, you know, not too many people, but keeping the quality really high. So, um, but I, I also see in some situations you can get, uh, yeah, too many people and erosion problems and litter problems and um, the conflicts, uh, but it's, yeah, managing that. But in England, it, uh, in the UK, it's slightly different. Our fells are very open. Our uh, hills, you can, in Scotland, you can go anywhere. Um, but there are some problems on the, the popular walking paths with erosion. Um, so there are areas you have to be careful on for different times of the year, for nesting birds or certain habitats. Um, but generally it's, you know, low, low impact, small numbers and um, going lightly and quickly. It's not, not, not such an issue. Uh, yeah, I work, um, I, I, I rely on my job and um, I enjoy working. It's, it's nice when I'm at home. I, uh, I don't spend the, 
the day thinking about running. I, I'm working, I'm busy, and uh, it's, I like to go to work, and they know nothing about the running, and it's a totally different life, and it's important for me. And if I get injured or, uh, yeah, it, it, it's just, for me, I need the balance. I, I'd be a very bad professional. Well, you get to places like this, um, you get a, it's, it's a lovely feeling to feel fit and to, to move quickly and uh, it's a very addictive sport as well. They're all those good endorphins. Um, I like to improve, I like to socialize with other runners. Um, I think there are many reasons I like to run. Um, I think I'm a very competitive person and it's uh, just a natural thing to, to want to, to race and, uh, and to, to, to you know, finish as high as you can. Um, I get a real buzz from it. I, I've been running for a number of years and I, I'm not bored from competing. Uh, not so much now. Uh, well, actually I, I cycle, I do cyclocross in the winter, but I used to, my main sport was uh, football and uh, I, until I was 24 and then I started running uh, but I also like racket sports I played a lot of tennis and uh, badminton as a as a youth um, it's a bit different when I'm on a sabbatical but at home it's around work so I run in and out of work and uh, I do sessions uh, a few times a week hill and flat and then some longer runs too kind of quite quite traditional um, mountain uh, marathon running training I'd say typically to get myself very fit um, I normally uh, yeah see talk to Sol Solomon and see um, if there are any particular races uh, they want to focus and then we discuss it and I decide what races I want to do um, and I talk to some friends as well to see where they're going um, and yeah just come up with uh, a calendar and then it always changes as the season goes on so it's um, uh, yeah but it's quite exciting at the start of the year to, to start to put together a, a calendar favorite race oh it's it's really hard um, I uh, I like some of the traditional fell races in the in the UK the three peaks race is a really nice race um, I like Zagama, I've been to that three or four times. The Italian sky races are fantastic. Um, I couldn't tell you a favourite one at the minute. Transalpine Runner is pretty cool. Next race is Tromsø Sky Race, two weeks.